Hi everyone, in this video we're going to review the Kronos widget which has the same functionality as the C Quark widget which you may have seen on the Cyanogen Motoron. Now this widget requires to have Android 4.1 and up, so unfortunately for ice cream sandwich users, gingerbread users and below, this widget is not available. So this widget has a Quark, a calendar and weather information combined in one. So let's take a look. Now before we go any further I would like to point out that this widget has a free version and a pro version but you're not really missing anything from the pro version other than some tap actions and a custom background on the uh, widget. So you can use this widget on your home screen and you can also use it on your walk screen but if you want to use it on your walk screen you need to have Android 4.2 and above. So its settings menu is really simple now as you can see you basically have four tabs here for settings and a check mark option here whenever you want to save the settings. So let us start off by checking out the quark and alarm options here. Now as you can see you, from here you can switch from digital to analog quark. If you uncheck this you switch to analog. If you enable it you switch to digital. Next you can have it to show you the alarm next to it and there is also a tap action. Now with this when you tap on the uh, quark you can make it do an action because currently at the moment it doesn't do anything so actually before we go into detail about all of these widgets here I'm just gonna spawn it to my home screen just to show you guys how it looks so this is the default look of the widget you can also resize it as you can see you need to have it resized if you want to have the uh, the calendar information appear on the bottom anyways I'm just gonna leave it like this now as you can see quite a simple and nice looking widget you've got the time at the top the weather information and you can also have the calendar information at the bottom so like I said about the tap actions if you tap on the quark it takes you to the stopwatch which is kind of weird but yeah you can set a custom action here but like I said you need to purchase the pro version okay let's get back into the settings let's head into quark and alarm and so yeah these are the general settings and these are kind of like the customization settings here so you can make the hours bold and you can also make the minutes bold text if you like for example like this and you can also make the bold date and alarm and one of the best thing is you can change the colors as well so if, for example I can change the font color to let's say light green because I'm later on going to use this to my, to my walk screen and as you can see we have just set these settings now let's save and there we go as you can see I have made the hours and the minutes bold and I have changed their color so next we've got the weather panel here which is for your weather settings below the, the clock as you can see this is using Yahoo weather and from here you can set the update interval it is set to 60 minutes you can also set it use a custom location in case it made a mistake about your location currently it is showing my accurate location but if it has you can just enable use custom location and you can type in the city state or country and once again we've got a tap action which you can make it do when whatever you want when you tap on the weather once again this is a pro feature as you can see because currently if you tap on the weather nothing happens as you can see you can only do this if you have the pro version then we've got some various options here show when minimized use color icons you can also switch uh, from color to the white colors for example if I disable this you can see how the icon will change so yeah each to their own taste I'm just gonna put this back to color then you've got use metric show location show timestamp invert low high temperatures font color once again you can change this as well if you don't like the white color and so on and next up are the calendar event settings so you can make it display the next events the upcoming, upcoming events below the weather if you like from here you can set you can set it from where it can look for the events so you can just enable whatever your events are located at and once again some more options here and at the bottom once again we've got customizations for the color and everything else yeah, I can't really go into detail but you can see what these do so once we have set the calendar events you might be wondering what they look like so let's do that now as you can see it shows me an event here if you have plenty more events they'll show up even more to the bottom and lastly we've got a general appearance option here which just has one setting which is for the widget background like I said earlier this is a pro version feature 
currently set to transparent and in my opinion transparent is enough but if you have a different taste you can change the background to whatever you want but that would require you to purchase the pro version and just another thing i forgot to show you is that you can obviously add this to the walk screen so as you can see at the moment i have it on my walk screen here like i said the green color for the for the hour and the minutes as you can see i set it to green to match my walk screen wallpaper and it looks decent as you can see so yeah you can also expand this like i said if you want to have the calendar events to appear like this so as you can see a very nice looking widget so that's about it everyone i hope you found this video useful if you want to download this app visit the link in the video description if you feel like you don't have enough customization options with the free version at any time you can upgrade to the pro version simply by choosing the in-app billing through the app once again everyone thank you for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye